Groceries are getting more expensive, gas prices are on the rise, and even an ice cream costs way more than it did just a few years ago. Behind all of this is inflation. Simply put, inflation causes the same amount of money to be worth less than before. So even with the same amount of money, you can buy less. The causes for this are varied. For one, there is the demand-pull inflation. This occurs when the demand for specific products rises so strongly that it exceeds the supply. In this case, the manufacturers raise the prices for their products, and for the same price, you suddenly get less stuff. Cost-push inflation happens when the production costs of companies rise, for example due to higher energy prices or more expensive resources. These increased costs are then passed on to consumers. Monetary inflation works a bit differently. Here, the amount of money that is in circulation is being increased. This can happen when a government decides to simply print more money, for example, to pay its debts. The currency loses its value, and everything gets more expensive. Inflation mostly doesn't have just a single cause. Instead, it consists of many individual elements that interact and can amplify each other further and further. Measuring inflation is done with something called a market basket. Put into this basket are the average expenses for all kinds of goods and services. These are compared regularly, with the difference between them determining the rate of inflation. A rate of about 2% is nothing to worry about and can even promote economic growth. A higher rate can get dangerous quickly though and especially affect groups such as the unemployed or retirees whose income is not directly tied to the market. The central banks are trying to prevent exactly this from happening. For this, they have multiple tools at their disposal. Through something called a prime rate, for example, they are able to control how expensive it is to borrow money. This lets them boost or slow down the economy, and with that, the rate of inflation.